Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So welcome to my new course here. So we will be trying to do the backend thing using the Node.js and we will develop a simple API application, Node.js API application using the TypeScript support. So here I am, I am creating something like a job portal API. So where we will be having the candidates who can upload their profile and uh, they can upload their resume and all those things. So they can view the jobs and they can apply for the job. So this is all the API we will try to develop. So this is a complete API project, the backend project. So which we will be doing using the Node.js and the TypeScript and I will be using the Prisma ORM and the PostgreSQL. So let's try to implement this one. So for in order to implement this one, so what I need to do, so let's go to our uh, D drive. So just the, the place where you want to install it. So you can go it here. So here I will be having the projects. Let's go into the projects. And here in this one, so what I will try to do, let's go here and I will create a job portal API. So job hyphen portal hyphen API. So this is our file and S. So here, oh, what it is happening? So already we have an API it is saying. So this folder is empty. Okay. So let's try to uh, go into here and I will open the folder. So Visual Studio Code I am going and here I am opening the folder. That is nothing but let's go to the d drive and here the projects i will open the projects and here in this one we will be having the job portal api oh sorry we need to select this folder so i have selected this folder so this is our new project so let's try to set up the project one by one and we will try to see it so before writing any code we need to set up the structured project the first step is in to initialize the node.js project so that node.js project initialization and all those things so how we can do it let's go here and i will open the command prompt in the job portal api okay so here this is our command and i will be open the command let's open this command so it is opening the command let it open yeah here this is our job portal api and here we, we you need to use the npm init hyphen y okay so i am initializing the project this is the command so what is this one is so here it initializes a new node.js project and creates a package.json file and here i have used this hyphen y flag it automatically fills in default values for the package.json without asking some interactive questions all it will take it as an s so now let's try to create a so it may take some time so let it take so what is normally a package.json file okay so let's try to create a second see here the package file and all those things has been created so what is a package.json file so here if you try to see this is a package.json file which has been created so what is a package.json file package.json file basically it is a configuration file that stores project metadata like project name version author and all those things and it tracks the dependencies and also the dev dependencies so you will be having here the dependencies and dev dependencies which you will be trying to install it in a couple of minutes afterwards and defines the scripts to run tasks like starting the server and all those things we will try to define the scripts so now after running the npm init hyphen y you will see a package.json like this in your project folder something like this <clears throat> so now let's this file will be updated as we install dependencies and configure our project so whenever we are installing the dependencies uh, configuring the project this file will be updated automatically so let's try to proceed with the next step so we have initialized our new project let's proceed the with the next step so what we will be trying to do here now that we have initialized the project we need to install the necessary dependencies so the first one which i will be trying to install the dependencies for this one is so we as we are using the N, uh, node project so we need to uh, as usual i will be using the express.js for this one and also the language i will be using is the typescript okay so here i will be installing the express.js so npm install express so let it install the express so I will try to explain you why why these are one by one uh, whatever the packages I am trying to install the packages I will try to explain you one by one. So this one is installed. I will be installing the npm install course also. I will explain you this one also. npm install dot net dot env sorry dot env for environment files for I think and I will create uh, npm i helmet. We can also use the uh, what, what I want to say is install for install we can also use this i npm i morgan 
I am trying to use it this one also so these are all some of the packages which I will be using dev dependencies I will try to use it CLS so here for dev dependencies what I will try to do npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev so we can use it like this also save sorry save hyphen dev so I need to have a typescript okay and I need to have a ts node so in order to have these all the node uh, built-in methods and all those things and a types hyphen node types slash node and I'll be have I need to have the types slash express so in order to have express and I did uh, types slash cars also I need to do it and uh, some other things like uh, slash types slash Morgan okay so these are all the things so in order to have a TypeScript support we need to install the type definition files also for node.js for express for cars and Morgan which we are trying to use it so all the, all the things has been installed so now we are installing two types of dependencies here so if you try to open the package.json here so here you will be able to see we are installing two types of dependencies so one is the regular dependencies for runtime use and another one is the development dependencies for TypeScript support so here the regular dependencies installed with npm install so what we have installed first one is the express.js which we have installed it this is the website this is a web framework used to build the apis so this is express.js is a framework with node.js node framework which is used to build the apis course so this one course means all you already know i already covered this about this course issue and all this in cross origin issue it enables the cross origin resource sharing allowing the front end apps to communicate with the back end so so that the front end apps can able to communicate with the back end and I am using the .env. It loads the environment variables from a .env file to manage the configuration securely. And here the helmet means it adds security related HTTP address to protect against the vulnerabilities. And Morgan means it locks the HTTP request useful for debugging and monitoring the API request. So these two things you can leave it. So these three are most important which you need to install. Now what we have used another one is the dev dependencies which we have used it here. So first one is the TypeScript. So the TypeScript compiler which converts TypeScript code into the JavaScript. So you people already know about this one. TS hyphen node. So what is this one? Allow, allows running TypeScript files directly without needing to compile them first. And types hyphen node means what it will try to do here. The type definitions for Node.js allowing the TypeScript to understand the Node.js built-in modules. Type slash express means the type definition for the express. Type definition for the express enabling the TypeScript support for the express APIs and course and all those things also one and the same thing only type definition for the course and type definition for the Morgan. So now after installing these dependencies your package.json will be updated like this and a new node modules folder. So now we need to in install these all things. So and a new node modules here you'll be able to see folder will appear. Additionally you will also see a new file that is nothing but a package log.json which ensure consistency dependency versions across the installations. Fine. <coughs> Now that we have installed the required dependencies, uh, de required dependencies, the next step is to initialize the TypeScript and configure it properly. So let's try to initialize the TypeScript. So now that we have installed the TypeScript, right? So now what we need to, we need to configure it properly. For this one, what we need to do it is we need to run the command uh, here npx tsc hyphen hyphen init. So this is our command. And here npx means what it will try to is it runs a package without installing it globally. And tsc hyphen hyphen init means it creates a tsconfig.json file which is the TypeScript configuration file for the project. So after the com after running this command, you will be able to see a new file called tsconfig.json file in your project. So let's try to understand this tsconfig.json file. So when you open this, this file controls how TypeScript compiles your code. It includes several configuration options we need to modify it. Now we need to modify it to match your project needs. So if you open this tsconfig.json file, so you'll be able to see a lot of issues, a lot of things. So here we'll be having the compile directory and all those things we'll be having it. So I will try to update this one. So I will try to explain you while going on, going on so that you'll be able to understand it. Okay. So now this is all finished. So what I want to do it is I want to create the folder structure. So I don't want to go too much into this one. So here I will create a source file. Okay. So in this source file, what we will be having, so we will be having multiple uh, things and all those things. So now we have completed setting up this all TS config JSON and all those things. So let's try to create the server, make the server up and we'll try to do it. Hope you understood about this concept. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.